Duck Productions again. Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a live USB and or bootable flash drive. It can be any size, as long as the ISO that you're getting it from is... It's not big enough. I mean, as long as, long as it fits. I mean, if it's a, a Vista, you're going to need at least 4 gigs. If it's XP, you're only going to need 1 gig. If it's Windows 7, you're probably going to need it. Well, actually, 4 gig actually for Windows 7 as well in all operating systems. To make a ISO from a CD, you need to get a program called CD Burner XP. From there, you simply go to copy or grab disk. Hit OK. You choose the, 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 the basically the uh, drive it's in. You got a hard drive. You save it as an ISO. You save it somewhere on your computer. So you can turn any disk you have and put it into a flash drive format. So after you go through this whole process, it copies it to the desktop. Close out all of this. Now, to actually make it bootable on your flash drive, you got to use a couple of third-party softwares. Now I'm going to show you three because some will not work with these programs and some will. It just depends on how it was made and what it's for. If it's an operating system, you can do it all in Yumi. You essentially, let me go ahead and uh, plug in my flash drive so I can show you the process. So I plugged it in. Let's see J. All right. So when you do it, you want to format it. Make sure that obviously a format will erase everything that's on there. Then you simply go through this list, and it'll have a template for to do it from. And in some of these, like the Linux, it'll actually download the ISO and do everything for you. All you have to do is sit back, and you'll get a cup of coffee or something. Come back, and it'll be done. So it'll all of these Ubuntu, Fedora, all third party, and you scroll down all the way down to the bottom, and it has the Windows Vista, Windows 7, install it. From there, these are the same thing I showed you earlier, where basically you would browse to the file that you saved earlier in CD Burner XP, or you can download the ISO off of Windows's website and do it that way. Now, if this program fails you, which is highly unlikely. You can turn over to the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. And it's the same media. You simply just go to Browse. You find your ISO. This only works for Windows 7. So if this is not working for Windows 7, you just jump over here and use this and it will work. If it doesn't work, the ISO is damaged some way or it's missing a file that it needs to do what it needs to do. And the third program I'm going to show you is ISO to USB. This is your fail safe if all these else fail. But honestly, if you're going through Yumi and then Windows 7 and it still won't let you, even with the option on Yumi, let me go ahead and show you, it'll override and let you do it even though you don't have it. You go to try an unlisted ISO. Do not do from memory. You don't need from memory. Just do format and make sure you browse to it. And it'll try and install it without a template. But if that doesn't work, you can try ISO to USB. The website's here, and all these downloads will be in the file in the video description. If you have any issues, feel free to comment below, and I will help you resolve your issue. Again, this is to burn ISOs from your hard drive to your flash drive to make it portable and, in my opinion, relatively.